Alright, now we're going to take a look at the depth mic and the one jaw inside mic uh, which you'll be using. Uh, the depth micrometer, uh, this is a uh, multi-spindle and we, you can see here that we have several spindles in the case. We have the spindle that goes from 0 to 1 inch, um, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, so on and so forth. And then we have our adjusting wrench. Okay, and you saw on the PowerPoint how that we can um, calibrate these. So I'm not going to show you that. It's already on the, cal on the PowerPoint. So let me go ahead and stick the spindle in. And again, this is, has a little snap ring in it. It's almost like a CB joint snap ring. So we're going to snap this right in here. Uh, just because I have a pretty good idea about how long it is. Okay. Uh, and if it wasn't right, I would stick another one in there. Okay. So. This is obviously not a surface plate. This is a kitchen table made out of fine wood. Um, so we're going to check the socket and we're going to check the depth of this socket. So the way we do it, you know, is that we want to put our fingers on it. I'll try to get the best view I can. Put our fingers on it, push down, and then we're going to take and turn the thimble. This is a thimble until it stops. Okay, and that's our point. Now we can lock it down. We can pull it out. Okay. Now to read this, it reads backwards, so be very, very, very careful. So it looks like I'm getting about, and the easiest way to read it, it's actually 518 and a half thousandths. But the easiest way, if you back it up to say this point right here, I see that I'm at 500 thousandths. Then 505, 510, 515, and I was right at 518, maybe 18 and a half. So that's how I would read this. Okay, and I do not want to forget to add my two inches. So it's the answer to this socket length is two inches, five hundred and eighteen thousandths and five tenths, something like that if I look in the middle between the lines. Okay, so that's how we would use this. And the, and the like I say, the spindles do interchange. This would be from one to two. Just pop it in. And, uh, but you see everything reads backwards you have to know what's being covered up and the easiest way is if you can move it there's as I said 500 525 550 550 or 575 600 right there so you have to know what's being covered up, and that's covered very well in the in the PowerPoint. So that's how we use the depth mic. The one jaw inside mic reads backwards as well. That's why I wanted to do a demonstration and show you this as well. Okay, so we're going to screw this out a little bit, and we're going to put it inside of this uh, washer here, and we're going to screw this in uh, right about there until it locks. Okay, and then I can turn this set screw, or this little screw here, and lock it down. Okay, now the answer that I get is I'm just about at 700. I'm not quite there. So let me open this and, and let you see how this reads. So if I back it up just a hair, I'm at 675. 680, 685, 690, 91, 92. That would be 692 thousandths. Now if I swing it over just a little bit to the zero, you see I'm at 700. Okay, so this one again, you have to read backwards. Everything you need is covered up, so you have to use your imagination quite a bit in this. So that's the depth mic and the inside mic. Inside mic one jaw. They also have a regular inside mic for larger uh, items. And there'll be two bearing races. I believe there's two that you'll have to measure with it. But it's very simple. The video shows very clearly how to use it. So again, if you have any questions, hunt me up in the shop. Uh, it's no problem to grab me out of class, and, and I can go over and give you a tip or two. Thank you very much, and good luck.